cảm ơn các khán giả của Beauty with Tiffany đã trở lại với Tiffany và Dr. Lam. Um, th- hồi nãy Tiffany hỏi Dr. Lam như thế này là Tiffany biết là bà, uh, Dr. Lam có một cái center nó gọi là Beauty Wellness Bell- 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 Center là một cái mà để cho tất cả nó không phải là chỉ là uh, chỉ sửa mặt mình hoặc là trồng tóc mình hoặc là làm cho người của mình ốm hoặc là làm cho những cái bắp thịt của mình săn lại nhưng bác sĩ có trong đó trong cái center của bác sĩ đó còn có tóc nè có cắt tóc nè mà một người cắt tóc thật cắt tóc vào trong đó rất là nổi tiếng à, và cộng thêm nữa là có những cái bác sĩ khác có thể hút mỡ bụng rồi có thể làm tất cả những gì mà thật ra là một chỗ mà mình có thể tới mình có thể làm tất cả những gì trong cái cơ thể của mình trong một chỗ thôi I just tell them they just come into your wellness wellness center yeah and everything done from tip to what top to the tip to the toe right yes. so everything they can just go one time and that's it and yeah. i think that was your i that was your idea that was yeah. your vision right yeah i was looking for a really a boutique center that didn't have redundancy so there was there weren't going to be five plastic surgeons but i wanted the best of the best for example we have a jose bear salon which is I high end mm-hmm. i want everything to be a, an amazing experience for the person where i feel comfortable doing a referral to another right. person then there right and also when i come to your wellness center yeah. why well, i know it is so different mm-hmm. i when i walk in I feel like I'm not in Dallas. Yeah. I'm in New York or <laughs> LA or somewhere. So to me, why you take that to Dallas? You know, I, I did my training in New York, so I was at uh, Columbia University there for six years, and part of that New York vibe, I really was able to bring back to Dallas because what it's inspired me. I think in another life, I would have been an architect if I, <laughs> if I didn't do what I do yeah. now. But uh, I really, really love beauty, and and things that inspire me are uh, this mid-century modern aesthetic, um, and New York has that. So when I spoke with the architect, I can't take credit for it, but the architect, you know, when an architect really gets inspired by a client, they can do beautiful work, and and right. Gary Williams, who put it together, did an amazing job. Of making this building really unique and, and have a great feel and, and flow. Right. Quý vị biết không, uh, cái office mà cái chỗ mà để mà Tiffany tới thăm lần đầu tiên với Dr. Lam đó, Tiffany rất là ngạc nhiên. Tại một cái building, một cái chỗ mà rất là đẹp, mà trong khi đó Tiffany vô đó, Tiffany tưởng tượng là Tiffany đang ở New York hoặc là ở cả Cali, không có phải giống như ở, ở Dallas, tại nó rất là đẹp mà nó rất là sang trọng. Nên um, vì lý do vậy mà Tiffany thấy là uh, người Việt Nam của mình nên biết, tại vì um, Dr. Lam, you also Asian, right? So you understand. Yes, not Vietnamese, Asian but mean, I can't understand. Right, it. I right, wish I could. Right, but is is you understand what we need and yeah. stuff like that. So that's why I told the audience, sure. you know, it's because you understand what the structure is, and we won't talk about that for our next okay, show. Okay, sure. Um, so what I want to know is something about you different than a lot of. In, in my life, sure. I met so many surgeons, I met so many plastic surgeons, so right. many doctors. But one thing about you, can I? May I? Uh, ask a question um, about you is very unique you have a style you have <laughs> that fashion that class that bow tie every time I see you you have that look so can you explain to me and our audience with beauty with Tiffany sure. show so that so that way we can know you better thank you yeah uh, of course uh, my passion in life is really art I love being an artist I love doing things that are fantastic for for my patients and Um, one of the things that I, for me, clothing is just an expression of, of that art. Mm-hmm. Uh, I absolutely just have fun with it. And <laughs> it's just, a, 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 I just want to look different, feel different. And when you do that, there's, it radiates outward. Um, I just uh, think every small detail in life can be uh, can be art. You can enjoy art in every spectrum, and and that's what is different uh, about what I do. Because you know, my mom, uh, when I told her I was going to go into plastic surgery, as a good Asian mother would say, you know, you're going to make people look like this. She was, she was at a at a grocery store looking right. at this woman saying she remembered very clearly it was scary. Um, and I said, no, mom, I have very good taste. It will never happen. I just cannot make ugly work. It's, <laughs> not within my blood or DNA to be able to do that. So a large part of this is just, uh, I evolve my style. I just love um, aesthetics. I think a lot of men out there uh, that are plastic surgeons may not be tapped into the sense of aesthetics. And so a lot of things, when you hear the language, when people speak, you can get a sense of what is important to them. They may say, for example, when they they do a consultation, you know, we need to lift one millimeter here, we need to cut here, we need to do that. Whereas for me, it's about balance and beauty and design and so I think we have that commonality. Customize, uh, customize, right? Absolutely. So I mm-hmm. guess that's part of it. I just I just love um, 
all parts of life. I think everything can be art. I, I, that's the reason you, you're attracted to me because fashion to me is very important. You have to make something different, you know. So quý vị biết không? Vì lý do mà Tiffany hỏi uh, bác sĩ Lam là như thế này là bác sĩ Lam có một cái mà Tiffany thích đó. Không có phải không bao giờ Tiffany thấy là bác sĩ mặc cái đồ mà giống như đi vô surgeon mặc cái bộ đồ mà để mà surgeon hồi hồi nào Tiffany thấy đó tự làm hồi nào cũng mặc đồ rất là đẹp, hồi nào cũng có cái bow tie, hồi nào cũng mang cái một cái kiến một cái kiến mà nó rất giống như Tiffany nghĩ là cái kiến hồi hồi đời nhà Thanh vậy đó là rất là thú vị và cái cái fashion của uh, Dr. Lam á, là một cái mà Tiffany rất là thích là tại vì có một người bác sĩ không phải là chỉ uh, là một người chỉ mổ cho bệnh nhân không mà còn làm cho mình đẹp và làm cho mình có một cái gì đó có thể bệnh nhân có thể nhớ lại mình cái đó là một cái mà Tiffany rất là thích về Dr. Lam so I just tell them you know your glasses look like you know long time uh, tan uh, dynasty <laughs> <laughs> probably so <laughs> Well, it's the only thing is you need long hair. So <laughs> I work on that. <laughs> <laughs> so what it does is I I just admire you because you know like I just explained to our audience because a lot of surgeon you know my husband and I hate mm. to see this because mm. every time they go to lunch and stuff like that they always wear their scrub you know mm. so for you I always see you bow tie even you go into the office or you see your patient sure. and that's one thing people need to know you know need <laughs> to know so my um, the thing is to I, I want to ask you sure because you know you talk about your your books yeah. right so what is your next project do you write another book or are yeah. you going to help another textbook Yeah, I'm working on a book right now. I just started uh, in, uh, in November. And to be very honest with you, I don't write books for the sake of writing books. Mm -hmm. um, I write books if they're going to be landmark pieces that I feel very convinced that's going to change the industry. My goal is not about ego. It's about contribution. And if I look in an industry that someone else is not going to do it, I feel the, the burden to do it. For example, the new book that I'm working on that it should be out by October, November of this year wow. is a book on FUE, which stands for Follicular Unit Extraction, what that mm -hmm. means in normal English language. <laughs> is instead of taking a strip from the back for hair, it's harvesting one at a time through different methods. And that's what has been a big craze in the last few years in hair transplantation. And there's no textbook on it. Wow. Uh, so, so a book uh, on hair that just came out um, about a month ago has components of FUE. That's my book that came out. But I realized writing that book, I needed something more dedicated and specialized. You're so young. Why you? I mean, you have so. Wow, you're so young, but you have so much knowledge. Quý vị biết không? Không phải là chỉ một người bác sĩ không đâu mà bác sĩ viết một trăm năm chục cuốn sách và cộng thêm bảy cái cuốn sách textbook là một sách để cho các em uh, đi học có thể dùng được. Mà hiện tại bây giờ bác sĩ sẽ viết thêm một cái cuốn sách mà cuốn sách đó để chỉ cho những cái mà uh, một cái cộng tóc có thể làm thế nào mà có thể mình có thể uh, sơ trình được vô trong cái lòng lòng da của mình. Mà cái đó là cuốn sách để cho các em sau này uh, các và các anh chị hoặc các em sau này để mà học thêm để trở thành một người sơ trình. That's incredible. <laughs> I'll talk about that. What is your advice to give our young sure. audience or yeah. young generation or uh, not just young but people who like interested right. yeah. into what you're doing, you know, follow right. your steps. So what's yeah. your advice to them? I, I love that question actually <laughs> because I actually interview students for my college and um, I, I, there's a, do you ever see the Steve Jobs? Um, yes. The 12 minute, uh, uh, lecture, I mean, sorry, uh, lecture to Stanford for his commencement. Yes. He talks in that, in that video about uh, connecting the dots backwards. And for me, a huge part of my life is connecting the dots backwards and seeing where that pattern is. For example, um, I was a history major in college. And so I, I, why did I do that? I loved it. And, and so doing that, years later, I see that. The facility that that major offered me was the ability now to be able to write. I, I, wrote, I mean, I'm not trying to brag about this, but my, I write my books in a period of a month to six weeks. Wow. I write hundreds of articles. I, I do public speaking all the time. And I, didn't, I did that only because I followed my heart and my passion. And when your heart is true and you're passionate about what you do, and I don't want to have the, uh, the parents upset at me uh, saying this here, <laughs> but I really believe for the young people out there, 
follow what you love because you don't you never know how that's going to align right. for the future right and i see a lot of people especially for for very um, diligent asian kids today um, they fall in the footsteps of their their parents or they try to rebel against their parents right and i don't think either one necessarily is great right. i think right. what the what the young heart wants right. is to really go out there and explore and mm -hmm. find what interests them and they may not know but to be as open as possible and explore life and explore what you love and try to find what you love. That incredible but you know time is terrible <laughs> but you know I would love for you to be part two on my show because you know it's just so much for to share to the audience so um, first of all, thank you so much you. for come uh, take my invitation and come here to get a uh, you know few minutes to interview you. And I just I, I learned just a little bit, you know, just talking to you. So thank you so much, and I would love to for, do a part two with me. All right. I'm more than honored. <laughs> thank you so much. So um, cảm ơn quý vị rất là nhiều đã theo dõi chương trình Beauty with Tiffany hôm nay. Tiffany rất là cảm ơn uh, Dr. Lam đã tới đây um, đã chia sẻ những cái gì kinh nghiệm của bác sĩ à, với chính bản thân Tiffany và cũng giống như là khán giả của Beauty with Tiffany. Uh, you want to say goodbye to them? Hello. <laughs> goodbye to the audience and uh, for everyone out there, thank you for listening in and I appreciate being here. Thank you so much and uh, we're going to continue part two. Wonderful. And uh, chúc quý vị một ngày cuối tuần thật là vui tươi.